It's a long way from Japan to the west coast of North America, some 8,000 kilometers. The gigantic mass of debris the sea swallowed after last year's tsunami is slowly making that journey. And now people in the American state of Oregon are starting to dispose of one of the largest chunks to arrive. As NHK World's Mayumi Maruyama tells us, it's the beginning of a long and costly cleanup. This is Agate Beach, Oregon, where the dock from Aomori Prefecture is being demolished. Crews are using a diamond-coated cable to cut through the structure. The 20-meter-long pier is made of concrete and contains foam polystyrene, which helped it float. This is a reminder that it's a very, very dangerous natural uh, event that you have to take very seriously. Uh, it's something that we've got to take care of and, and get rid of. There be, you know, it looks like there may be more coming, and we've got to learn how to deal with it and and uh, how to dispose of it properly and efficiently. Last year's tsunami ripped the dock from its moorings at a fishing port in Japan's Aomori Prefecture. It traveled across the Pacific and washed ashore in Oregon in June. The Aomori Prefectural government didn't want it back. The Oregon officials decided to dispose of it. The demolition job will cost the state government $84,000. It's a fraction of the estimated tsunami debris bill. It could cost us anywhere from $1.5 million to $3.5 million just for Oregon for the next two-year period. Workers will cut the dock in five sections and use a crane to bring the pieces on shore. Then they'll slice those pieces into smaller chunks. Some parts will be saved to be displayed as a memorial. Mayumi Maruyama, NHK World, Newport, Oregon. The wave of tsunami debris began with a rusty fishing boat. Then other items started showing up. Sports balls, a motorcycle, and plastic containers. Much more garbage is on the way. And so more people are asking who will cover the cost of the cleanup. Japanese government analysts estimate as much as one and a half million tons of debris is floating across the Pacific. They say about 40,000 tons of it will appear on the west coast of North America in early 2013. U.S. politicians are asking the federal government to outline how the debris will be cleaned up and who will pay. I know NOAA has further plans to monitor this problem, but my constituents, to be very honest with you, are asking... With this debris already here, what's the plan? How are we going to deal with this, and how are we going to clean it up? There are no international rules or regulations covering who's responsible for cleaning up debris from a natural disaster. So right now, the people receiving this well-traveled garbage are reluctantly covering the cost of the cleanup. Representatives of a Japanese NGO plan to visit the U.S. at the end of this week. They'll meet with members of an American NGO to discuss how to work together to tackle the tsunami debris issue. Officials from Japan's Environment Ministry will go along as observers.